Okay, today we're going to be looking at two tablets, or tablet-like PCs, the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga, and also the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. This is the i7 version, this is also the i7 version, 4600U versus 4650U. Uh, the Surface Pro 3 actually has HD Graphics 5000, where the Lenovo ThinkPad Yoga has the Intel HD Graphics 4400. Um, these are both maxed out specs. Um, this is the highest uh, graphics and CPU combination you can have in the Yoga, ThinkPad Yoga, and also this is the highest uh, model graphics and CPU you can have on the Surface Pro 3. And I just wanted to look at gaming performance, not only, you know, just a straight up benchmark but also in extended uh, load situations as well so um, what I've done is I've loaded up uh, Tomb Raider and I don't know how well you're going to be able to see but the specs between uh, the settings in-game settings have been set to windowed mode at exactly the same resolution 1280 by 720 and I have set all the settings to exactly the same settings uh, so it's just basically on normal settings nothing fancy left motion blur intact but uh, this should be apples to apples comparison with the only differences being the extra EU units on HD graphics 5000 but possibly more throttling on the Surface Pro 3 uh, versus the lesser EU units, but maybe a little bit beefier heatsink in this device. So it'll kind of be a showdown of uh, specs versus throttling, almost. So we'll see whether better specs is actually better by the time it gets throttled. You know, both the devices will throttle uh, to some extent, but how much remains to be seen. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run uh, three tests of uh, Tomb Raider. First we'll just do an initial test. Uh, we'll run the benchmark, see what we get. Uh, what I found is you've, if you've been watching my videos is that performance can change at the drop of a hat based on you know how high your screen set up, which is why I have these unequivalent brightness. Um, it can change based on the temperature in your room, whether there's a breeze going in your room, whether you're AC is turned on. Um, so many variables affect throttling and performance. So that's why I've got these two devices side by side as close to the same, uh, well, trying to eliminate as many variables as possible. So we'll take a look and see how it goes. Okay, so we're about to start our first test. Uh, one thing I wanted to explain, the way I have this configured is the pink lines that you're seeing here are the temperatures of the GPU and CPU which are really close together they're basically on the same chip um, in Haswell uh, so it should be very close to the same temperature uh, the green lines are whether any throttling is happening whether through power limit or thermal throttling uh, and then the orange lines are the actual frequency that that these devices are running at so you'll be able to compare the frequency they're running at their GPU and their CPU um, but also whether they're being throttled or not so uh, we'll go ahead and run just a straight up benchmark right now they're kinda of, we're gonna do a cold boot since I have it in windowed mode uh, I don't have the mouse cursor over the game window on either of these machines which means it's not really it's just idling it's not putting any stress on anything so I'm gonna start them at the same time here we go Tomb Raider benchmark test 720 normal settings in three two one Okay, on that initial test, the Surface Pro 3 is 
running 29.1 average. The ThinkPad Yoga did 25.8 average. So Surface Pro 3 wins on initial uh, run through. So that's, you know, you'd expect it to be quicker. It has better hardware. Um, but let's watch what happens as we, A, kind of let the computers heat up on either end. Um, and uh, let's zoom in on the results. There's your ThinkPad Yoga results, initial run. And Surface Pro 3, initial run. Okay, but now that you can see it's starting to throttle, now we'll see who can maintain any degree of performance as we run this benchmark a second time. Okay, hopefully it lets me run the benchmark again. Sometimes it has uh, issues doing that, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so we've kind of let these machines warm up. Um, you can hear the fans running now. And uh, this time I'm letting the window be active on the game. So they're just kind of sitting there stressing the CPU and GPU. Um, so we'll let that sit for just a second longer. And then I'm going to start the benchmark again. <sighs> Round 2, 720p Tomb Raider, normal settings. In three, two, one. So this should give us somewhat of a sustained setting, a sustained gaming capability benchmark number. I can tell you right now, the Surface Pro 3 is about 800 megahertz right now. And the ThinkPad Yoga is at 1.06 gigahertz with a graphics frequency of 750 on the ThinkPad Yoga, while the graphics has throttled down to 450 on the Surface Pro 3. Now, whether those extra execution units can make up for the graphics uh, throttling difference, we'll have to see. And there you have it, the ThinkPad Yoga again scores, you know, around uh, 25 frames a second. But look at the Surface Pro 3, the performance has now degraded down to 21.4 average frame per second. So that starts to speak volumes. I'm actually going to run this test one more time to get a real good consistent sample size of tests. Okay, this is going to be Surface Pro 3 versus ThinkPad Yoga 720p test Tomb Raider extended load benchmarking test 3 in 3, 2, 1. We can see at this point the Surface Pro 3 is reaching some abysmal graphics frequency numbers. I saw it drop to 350 right there, uh, while the Yoga is still at 750 megahertz. Okay. So there you have it. The uh, ThinkPad Yoga once again gives a consistent performance of around 24-25 frames a second. But we can see the uh, Surface Pro 3 has now degraded down to an average frame per second of 19.5 with the minimum frames per second even hitting as low as 14.6. So 
there you have it. If you want to do some gaming, despite the spec differences, the ThinkPad Yoga might be the better choice. Um, there still might be another uh, option available to us, which is undervolting. And I've already shown you how to use a fan to increase the performance on a Surface Pro 3. Um, so we're going to take a look at that in the next video. But for now, it's stock settings. I uh, think Pad Yoga is the winner for extended gaming sessions where quick bench benches, the Surface Pro 3 is going to take the lead. So just depends how you want to use your device. Thanks for watching. We'll have more videos on this topic coming soon.